Greetings from the beautiful Chafee College Rancho Cucamonga campus. For the past few years, we try to share our success stories with you to ensure our community members get the chance to see firsthand what I am fortunate to see each and every day, student success. At Chafee College, we serve more than 30,000 students annually. At our last graduation, the youngest graduate was 17 years of age and the oldest was 71. Just imagine someone graduating from high school and from college in one night. Miyaki Fukuhara became an alumna from Chafee College and Los Osos High School in one evening with four associate degrees. She earned with us, and you know, they all were free. The number of high school students taking Chafee College courses through the dual enrollment program has jumped about 300% in the last year. This program is valuable because it gives students an early start into college. More than 1,500 high school students enrolled in the program in the 2018-2019 academic year. My name is Miyaki. I was born and raised in Peru, and then I moved to the United States as a child. When we first moved here, we actually moved in with my former stepdad. It was very domestically, emotionally abusive. And my mom decided to take my brother and I out of that toxic environment. And it led us to actually be homeless. So there was about a four-month period where we lived in shelters and we were in and out. I was fairly young, but I remember that period very clearly. It was a point so low that you could only go up. So little by little, I started trying more in school. I started kind of using school as a means to get out of that. So I did dual enrollment. So in high school, you usually go to your counselors, you pick the classes, and then they pick your periods. And then you have a set time from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. that you have to stay there continuously. Dual enrollment has much more flexibility in what you can do with your schedule. They let you choose your classes and what time you can take them, and they let you choose what classes you can take. So you're not stuck in classes to get your general education credits. You take classes that you want to take for your own experience. I actually graduated college before I graduated high school. The graduations were one hour apart, <laughs> but I told my principal ahead of time, and we made the coordinations. I was first in line to graduate in Chafee, and then after that, I made a quick Uber <laughs> to my high school graduation. But graduating from Chafee was something that was mind-blowing. Seeing the whole community come together is something that was really, really inspiring and that I felt a lot of pride with. Apart from the dual enrollment programs that they offer, I think what really helped me and what others can take advantage of is the fact that they have this really great community and these really great support programs for their students and that everybody who is at Chafee are there because they truly want to make themselves better. So joining that community I think is not only a privilege but something that is kind of an investment <laughs> in yourself. Although high school is good for making sure that you have the basis, I think truly understanding what you want to do and truly exploring that is what you find through Chafee College classes. Getting my acceptance from UCLA was, I think now is the symbol of like, not just academia, but like holistically being successful. My career goals are hopefully to get my MD and then go into surgery. Ultimately, what I would like to do is to go back to Peru so I can give back to my community, not just any healthcare, but good healthcare where it can grow and thrive. Going back to that period where we lived in shelters, I'm really glad my mom made the decisions she made because it made us a stronger family. A lot of the motivation and inspiration I get is from that specific moment. Doing all this work and getting all these degrees and doing all my extracurriculars is kind of a symbol for myself that you can't start from the bottom and get somewhere higher and that through hard work, dedication, there is such thing as upward mobility. I'd recommend Chafee College to anybody.
in order for us to keep up with the demands of the labor market, Chafee College needs to stay abreast of trends and future needs of our communities and businesses. As people started to create bank accounts and live their lives more online, concerns about identity theft and online security started to increase. J.P. College realized this need and decided to offer an associate degree in the area of cybersecurity, the only such program available in this region. At J.P. College, we want to ensure that all our students have more opportunities after they leave us than when they arrived. They need to get credentials and find a living wage job. Cybersecurity is an excellent way to accomplish this as the average salary for a cybersecurity professional is more than $95,000 a year. Cybersecurity is a new emerging field um, and our program is very unique and special and it sets it apart from other programs you may have seen. In our classrooms, we have a culturally diverse environment. Whether or not you're a lifelong learner and you want to reboot your career, or you're, you're a young person that just comes out of high school, my goal is to make sure that you get that life plan fulfilled. So one of my students is Adrian, and he's a, he's a wonderful human being. He also works in the industry. And so he came here because of our cybersecurity program because he was interested in improving his skills. I've gone to other community colleges, so I've been through a lot of professors. Maybe they're not all the best at getting the best out of the students, and they're really just teaching a class. That is not the case at Chaffee College. The teachers are investing in you. Our goal here is, is to make sure that we educate our students to get jobs in this industry, because it does pay very well, and there's a lot of jobs out there. Not only do I want them to get a job, I want them to be able to keep a job, so that they can make a positive impact their community. See that somebody cares about where I land after I'm in college, that is a huge, huge plus of this program. We also have a workforce developer. She's able to get us internships, so those students that are interested, we have a pathway for them to potentially get either employment or an internship and get more hands-on skills. They invest in where you are and this place in time and where they can see you in the future. Some of the things that we focused on is making sure our students have hands-on skills, both on equipment, on tools and things that they would find in the industry. Every piece of equipment that I've touched, servers, switches, firewalls, I've directly gone out into the workplace and used the same exact equipment. We teach you all the information you need so that when you go out and look for a job, yes, I do have a you know degree in cybersecurity, I do have certifications, but guess what? Not only do I have the degree, but I can back it up with getting stuff done. Professor Emery buys the top of the line equipment for us to use and hey, my employer just needed a brand new firewall put in. Guess what I recommended? What we're using here at Chafee College and guess what we're going with? What we use here at Chafee College. Chafee College is really focused on student success. And this program and specifically Professor Emery, he's gonna make sure that you get a career and a job when you graduate and get your certificate. As an instructor, I have probably the funnest job possible. I get to meet new people and I get to help them out. The ability to have someone to, to rely on that can speak into your life that you trust, it has been a blessing. That makes me feel good to know that I impacted their life because their success is also my success. I've worked in higher education for more than four decades. One thing I've learned, that doing something just because it's been done that way before is not leadership. No, that is staying comfortable. From what I recollect, not a lot of stories exist about historical changes happening when anyone was comfortable. AB 705 was created due to the large gaps in research that reveal that assessment tests were not helping students, particularly students of color. Instead, these tests would tell them they needed remedial help. 
and they spent time, sometimes years, taking remedial courses that did not help them move effectively through Chafee College. By removing this barrier, we know more and more students are taking math or English in their first year and moving to the next chapter of their lives successfully. I'm Dr. Leona Fisher and I'm an English professor here at Chafee College. AB 705 was a law that was signed by the state legislature back in October of 2017. Most community colleges worked on a model where we had developmental courses that would then lead up to the transfer level class. In some ways this was a good thing because it allowed students to develop their skills, but mostly what it was, it was an obstacle to students. What we know is that when a student is able to take both college-level English and college-level math in their first year, they are exponentially more likely to succeed. What AB 705 requires is for community colleges like Chafee to maximize the likelihood that students can finish both English and math in their first year. My name is Armando Camacho Jr. I'm attending college now. We see our students as capable people who will rise to the expectations that are set in front of them. I'm inspired by the AB 705 and I want to take advantage of that. Instead of taking all these classes that are not necessary and finish faster. And ultimately I would like to get a business degree. What we're seeing so far is that students have risen to meet the challenges. In fact, even though now we're looking at having 100% of students placing directly into 1A, whereas before it was maybe only a third, we have not seen any statistical difference in the number of students who are able to pass. Every time I write an essay for English 1A, I get better and better. And when I write emails at work, I feel like my writing's strong and I'm not embarrassed by it. I drive to work and I'm like, well, I'm, I'm actually doing this. The Chancellor's Office was so encouraged by our work that they awarded us a $1 million innovation grant to continue to build support, ensuring that our students have that maximum chance of success. I'm just thrilled with the opportunities that this law has provided us. It will, for certain, change and impact lives. My kids are attending college now, and now I'm encouraging my wife to come. We will see more students able to complete their associate's degrees, transfer to universities, and we know when that happens, all of us are blessed because of it. I believe that if one's dedicated and through perseverance and with the right connections and the right people here at the college, you'll be successful. In my career, I've attended more than 100 graduation ceremonies. Some are the same, others are a bit unique. All are emotional and beautiful. If I had to tell you the most beautiful commencement ceremony I have seen, I would say it would have to be one of our turning point graduations. Since its inception, more than 3,000 courses have been taken by men and women who are spending time in prison learning and improving themselves for the day when they are able to return to our communities and workforce again. At Chafee College, we have awarded approximately 170 degrees and certificates to Turning Point students. My name is Michelle Payne. I'm 42 years old and I'm a single mother. I attended college at UC Riverside from 1995 till 1998. My first year at UCR went pretty strong. My grades were okay. My second year, I got in kind of a party life. I wasn't attending class on a regular. I thought I was above it, and I let that overconfidence really destroy me. After I got dismissed from the university in 1998, I went back home and I started making bad choices. I was partying more and it was kind of depressing for me. I made choices and somebody lost their life due to the choices that I made. So I felt like a failure. I felt ashamed. I felt guilt. I knew somewhere in me that there was good and that I was capable of doing so. 
Jaffe College gave me that platform inside the prison setting, and it really helped me change my mindset. It might not seem like much, but just getting an A back on the essay. The small accomplishments is what helped me build my confidence back up. If it wasn't from the Turning Point program at Chafee College, I wouldn't have known how much of an impact that I could make for myself and other people. I paroled July 27, 2015, and at that point, I came back to Chafee College. I received my AS in accounting, and I was able to transfer to Cal State San Bernardino. I just graduated with a bachelor's in administration concentration accounting, and I'm also in my master's program for accounting. I got offered a position as an associate auditor in a local CPA firm, and I've accepted that position. Turning point is that catalyst that can help a person see the good in themselves, to see that they're capable of accomplishing things. People are coming out from incarceration with degrees because of the Turning Point program. So I would say please keep investing in the program, keep investing in mothers, in husbands, in fathers, in sisters, in brothers. People can change and the support that the EOPS counselors show, the Turning Point program, the Chafee College on-campus students sending planners in to the women. Those little planners meant the world <laughs> to a participant in the Turning Point program. I couldn't wait to get my day planner to fill it with my little stickers in the back. I could put on my calendar knowing I have an exam. I felt like a student. I felt like I was a panther. I felt like I was a panther. When I think about Chafee College, I think about our founders, the Chafee brothers. They were leaders in innovation. We are named after innovators. Their ideologies and ideas are still with us today. What used to be a small campus in Ontario has now evolved into campuses in Rancho Cucamonga, Chino, and Fontana. Thanks to the voters who passed Measure P, we will be returning to the city of Ontario in the future to make that city a college town again. Our students have grit. They are not entitled. They want to learn and improve their lives, not just for themselves, but for their families. After all, more than 60% of our students are first in their families to go to college. We have students who are recent high school graduates, working parents, veterans, and many dreamers. JP College will put you on the path to success because we have a place for you. Don't you think it's time to let Chafee College be a part of your life?